Good afternoon children. I would like to welcome you all in our moral science class. How are you children? Hope you all are fine by God's grace. Last class you learned how to manage feelings. Today we are going to learn lesson 4. The title of the lesson is Look Ahead. Look Ahead. Look Ahead means to consider what will happen in the future. To consider what will happen in the future. The present situation may not be good for you. You may have deal with certain situations in life. You feel very much disappointed. Sometimes you expect to give very good result. But you could not give and you may get disappointed. Sometimes things do not turn out the way you would like them to. But you can look ahead and overcome it. Disappointment is a part of life. Before entering into the lesson, I would like to ask a question. Children, have you ever felt disappointed? If you have done a mistake, you may felt disappointed. Yes? Yes. Success can be preceded by failure. Not once, but many times. Even great men have had to face failure and humiliation before becoming famous. Now children, you can turn your book to page number 25. Page number 25. Lesson 4. Look ahead. Things don't always turn out the way you would like them to. When you don't succeed at something, it is natural to feel disappointed. There are two ways to deal with the disappointment. You could look ahead and think, I know my mistake. I will do better next time. Or you would like back, you would look back and think, why did I even bother to try? I am no good. Which way leads to future success? Sometimes things do not turn out the way you would like them to. You feel disappointed. When you don't succeed at something, there are two ways to deal with the disappointment. First one, I know my mistake. I will do better next time. Second one, why did I even bother to try? I am no good. In these two ways, which way will lead to future success? The first one. What is the first one? I know my mistake. I will do better next time. Leads to future success success so now let's read the story stage fright given in your book leela loved to sing when the interclass singing competition was announced she asked her mother to teach her a new song leela loved the song that her mother taught her and she practiced it every day leela is the name of a girl she loved to sing and she was practicing different types of songs. When the interclass singing competition was announced in her school, she told her mother about the competition. Her mother taught her a new song and Leela loved the song that her mother taught. She practiced the song every day. One day of the competition, Leela was nervous. Her mother wished her good luck as she waved goodbye at the door. The day of the competition, she was supposed to sing the song that her mother taught. Lila was nervous. She had a good voice. Her mother wished her good luck. Lila waved goodbye to her mother. Children, if you are participate in any competition, your mother also will encourage you and say good luck. Do well. You will come first. Likewise, Sheila's mother also wished her good luck. Okay, children, do you understand? Yes. Okay. The competition began. Leela's name was called and she walked out onto the stage. And then she had an attack of stage fright. Her throat went dry and she seemed to choke. She knew the song. She knew she had a sweet voice. But she could not sing at all. She left the stage in tears. 
the competition started leela's name was called and she walked to the stage whenever a person come to the stage the audience in large number if they have to speak something in front of the audience anyone can get fear even before the camera also they get frightened they cannot deliver the message properly sometimes the moment we go to stage our legs get shaking we forget the words what we have to say so in school we have assembly every day isn't it yes some children in the school they deliver the speech or news without fear but some children while delivering the speech or news they get the attack of stage fright likewise leela also had an attack of stage fright her throat was dry she seemed to choke choke means she is unable to say a single word leela knew the song well her voice was sweet but she could not sing at all with tears she left the stage on her way home leela felt really miserable how can i tell my mother what happened she thought she spent so much of her time teaching me the song and helping me to practice i have let her down she will be angry and upset with me miserable means sad on her way home leela felt very miserable miserable means sad leela's mother taught a song for her she spent more time to teach and practice leela thought my mother will be upset and angry she helped me in practicing the song how can i tell my mother i did not sing what will she think Lila thought her mother will be angry and upset. Lila went home without singing. Lila thought this failure is for my mother. What do you think Lila's mother said to her when she told her what had happened? So, what do you think Lila's mother did not scold her and she did not get angry. First, she gave Lila a big hug. this kind of thing had happened to me too she said it happens to lots of people you will be fine next time let's talk about it and see what you have learned from it and that's what they did so lila's mother gave lila a big hug she told this kind of a thing has happened to me too it happens to lots of people you will be fine next time Let's talk about it and you can learn from it. So children, there are three questions in, given in your book. I will read. You can try to give answer. Okay. First question. How did Leila feel just before she walked out? She walked onto the stage. How did Leila feel just before she walked onto the stage? The answer is before Leila. she walked on to the stage lila felt very nervous lila felt very nervous before she walked on to the stage lila felt very nervous second question lila's mother was not angry or upset with lila why not lila's mother was not angry or upset with lila why not the answer is lila's mother was not angry because she understood that lila had felt stage fright lila's mother was not angry because she understood that lila had felt stage fright third question what did lila learn from the incident what did lila learn from the incident the answer is from the incident lila could have learned that stage fright is normal and can be overcome with practice and experience she should have learned it was not something to be ashamed but something to learn from so from this incident incident lila would learn that stage fright is normal and can be overcome with practice and experience we can overcome the stage fright with practice and 
experience. She would have learned it was not something to be ashamed of, but something to learn from. So, she knew that something not to be ashamed, but something to learn from. Okay, children, I think you all understood the story. With this, I like to conclude the lesson. Thank you.